Sorry, police business. Ah, perfect. You ain't seen any of my pigs, have you? The ones I just rounded up. Uh, yeah. I turned my back and they hoofed it again. They'll be all over Lego City by now. If you could just keep an eye out, I would be indebted to you. No hurry or anything. Yes, Mr. Hayes. Great. And if you do find one, just pop them back in the nearest pig cannon, and they'll be fired right back here. Okay. I'm at the museum, but I don't see a way in. Yeah, I checked the blueprints. The only way in is from the rooftop, but there's no way to climb up there. It's okay, I've got an idea. Are there any taller buildings around here which can be climbed? Maybe the art gallery, why? I just got hold of a chicken. I can use it to glide from the art gallery's roof to the museum's. Wow, that is not a sentence I thought I'd hear today. Good luck, Chase.
I bet they're developing flying cars or something over on Apollo Island.
Don't worry about this job, Chase. Consider a payback for how much the gift shop charged for that dinosaur pen when you were 11. Feathers. Four letters. Hmm. Hmm. Down? No, across. I just called Sheriff Huckleberry, and he told me that he hasn't seen you in hours. Where are you? The lead came up, Chief, and I think it points straight to Rex. So, not only have you ignored my orders, you're probably about to take something expensive again. Are you sure this is connected with Fury? Yes. Vinny's asked me to get the museum's robotic Tyrannosaurus Rex for someone. It can't just be a coincidence. That does sound like Fury's style. All right, I'll let you follow this one, McCain. But if it doesn't lead to fury, then that T-Rex won't be the only extinct thing around here. This car holds the world speed record. When it was being flown from the factory, it fell out the back of the plane, reaching a terminal velocity of 500 miles an hour. I can't believe I almost got ran over in a museum.
This is the largest known silver Lego ingot to ever be found in the Bluebell Mine, discovered by Silas Fletcher when it fell on top of him. It was kindly donated to the museum by his next of kin. This steam locomotive was unveiled at the opening of Lego City's very first train station. It wasn't used until two years later when a second station was finally built. This is the historic Lego City Tram, which was sold by con artist Tricky Jimmy to no less than 12 separate customers, all of whom neglected to notice that their receipts clearly stated, carriage is not included. This oil derrick is over a hundred years old. Oil derricks are named after their inventor, John Oil.
This pirate ship was painstakingly reconstructed from 843 pieces dredged up from the bottom of the ocean. There were quite a lot of bits left over, so it probably wasn't a pirate ship before. The dinosaur exhibit? Great. The T-Rex is bound to be in there. Professor Patrick Palmer was the founder of Apollo Island, a scientist since he was eight. It took him many years to be taken seriously, as his pointy hair and maniacal laugh led everyone to believe he was either mad, evil, or both. I've probably got enough bricks to use that super build now. This diorama depicts the gathering of moon rocks, once thought to be an exciting new building material, as strong as normal rock, but six times lighter, until someone pointed out they'd been weighing them on the moon.
Well, that certainly isn't a T-Rex. You can't get in here! And that isn't a T-Rex either. Coochie coochie coo-coo! This mighty dinosaur has a series of blade-like bones running along its back. Some scientists think it may have been used as a tool by bigger dinosaurs to cut bread. This place is impenetrable. <gasps> Can I smell burning? One of the best-known facts about pterodactyls is that they have a silent pee, which they use to blind their prey before attacking. Where is the T-Rex? If I ran this place, it'd be right in the middle, being all Rawr! This dinosaur evolved extensive armor plating on its head, either because it was preyed upon by other dinosaurs or because it was really clumsy. Oh, great. They haven't built the T-Rex exhibit yet. I better find some super bricks. You know, this is exactly how stuff like the Brontosaurus happens. These rare totems have been designed to spin around at great speed, mimicking the tribal dance of the people who built them. However, they are unable to mimic the latter stages of the dance where the participants fall over and moan about feeling ill.
These rare totems have been designed to spin around at great speed, mimicking the tribal dance of the people who built them. However, they are unable to mimic the latter stages of the dance where the participants fall over and moan about feeling ill. I've got enough bricks to build that T-Rex now. Coming soon, an exciting diorama showing what scientists believe our future will look like. Pending completion until we receive the model monkeys on horseback. I found a lot of super bricks. That's right, Chase. Keep it low key. I got the T-Rex out of the museum. Do you want me to take it to your private buyer? Nah, he don't want anyone meeting him but me. I'll send you the location of the drop-off. Okay, Vinny. Hey, I know you're eager, Chasey, but this guy's bad news. Tell me about it. Sure. He's real impatient. Like he needs all this stuff yesterday. Eh, this whole business has changed. Time was, you took stuff to make a profit. But this feels different, like there's something bigger going on. Yeah, listen to me. Going on like my mother. Just drop off that T-Rex. Hey, Chase, are you busy? Well, I'm kind of. Great. Are you getting close to finding my dad? Uh, yeah. I'm on a job for a guy who I'm sure is working for Rex. Once I find Rex, I think I'll find your dad. You really think Rex has my dad? Is it because I testified against him? Rex is the kingpin. He must have something to do with your dad's disappearance. Uh, but I don't think it's because of your testimony. If it was, he'd just grab you, right? That's what I'd do. What? You know, if I was evil. Which I'm not. So what is Rex's connection to my dad? I don't know. But once I do know something, I'll call you. Thanks, Chase. The T-Rex is at the drop-off point, Vinny. That's great. Yeah, just one more job and I can get my payment and wave goodbye to my private buyer. That creep. You're gonna meet him? I don't envy you. He sounds mean. Yeah, some people. They ain't like us, Chasey. They don't have class. Do you need help with this job, then? I don't know. 
I mean, the other thing he wants is some boat from the fire department. Well, I got guys who can drive it, but, uh... What's the problem? The keys to it are in the fire chief's safe. The only people who can get near to it are firemen. Whoever does the job would have to go undercover. You reckon you could do that? Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I've obviously never done that before, but I think I could do it. Then the job's yours. Thanks, Chasey. I won't forget it. How's things? 